This is the VinFast VF9. This is a three row, six passenger, all electric SUV by VinFast. And they are gonna be making these right here in North Carolina very soon. In the front, you're gonna see your signature V VinFast grill. And obviously nothing to intake air because it's all battery. But this has a really bold, boxy, high front. And I really like the look of it. I mean, I'm 5'7", and I don't know how the camera angle is looking, but this is a big, it's a big car, SUV. I use them interchangeably. I'm gonna do that this way, just so you can see how big it is. Let's come to the back. Let's actually swing around to the back. So, the VF8 is a smaller, I'm gonna say it's more like the size of the Mustang Mach-E. To me, this looks like the Kia EV9. I mean, we have a little bit of a spoiler. We have an exposed wiper, but it's hidden. I guess it's not that exposed. We have a wiper up under your spoiler with your tail lights, your signature V motion back here in the back as well. And this is a dedicated six passenger. So your third row is not gonna cram three people across. You're basically gonna have two, two and two in this configuration. And again, it's all electric. So if you're feeling very crunchy, if you're feeling very green, if you're looking for the best EV for your family, this may be it. Notice how bold and unique these wheels are. They are big. I don't know how big they are actually. I've been guessing wheel size all day. I don't know. I think they're probably 22s. I feel good about guessing 22s. And inside, I'm going to give you a quick peek. One of the things that's unique to VinFast is you don't have a driver display here because everything that you need is going to be on your head up display. You do have this enormous screen. It looks bigger than 17 inches, 19 inches. I'm guessing again, but that's where you're going to be able to control all your functions and your gear shifter is located right there in the middle, which takes a minute to get used to, but I did it when I drove the VF8. You can see up front, you have your wireless charging pad. Your two cup holders are under here. That is your volume and to turn your audio on and off. And then of course, under arm, you have storage. But look how pretty these seats are. They do have synthetic leather, well, synthetic leather, which I like to call vegan leather and people go wild when I say that, but they do feel very premium. And as we swing to look into the second row, you'll see that we do have this console that reminds me of the one that you find in Grand Wagoneer. You cannot take it out, but inside of it, you have your two cup holders. You have this little area that somebody put a lip gloss in, which is like a utility area, another storage place under this armrest, and even the backseat passengers has these screens so they can control their climate and other things in the back. There's also two USB-C chargers and a little area for storage. Your vents are in the sides here as we're showing it right now. And you have an enormous fixed glass roof that covers almost the entire top. Actually, it does cover the entire top. Look at this. I'm going to try to zoom out. My angle is rough, but if you can see, it's my little light. I'm struggling. This fixed glass roof goes all the way back. There's that little break right there. And then you have more roof over your third row. So I hope you can see that. And then this is what your third row space looks like. You can see that you do have places to charge on each side, two dedicated seats with two headrests, two seat belts. So we're not trying to cram three people back here. And I'm squeezing my arm in there. And honestly, that's about all, that's about all I can see. So if you want to see the VF8 or the VF9 or a plethora of other vehicles, 